G'day again everyone, in this one I'm going to show you how you can add a sound effect to in Adobe Premiere Pro to your video clip. Um, so what I've got here, I've just got a, if I press play, I've got a video clip of some typing, someone typing on the computer with no audio. Alright, so what I've done is, I've gone over to this website, Free Sound, and I've just typed in, I think I typed in someone typing at a computer, and I've grabbed this sound here. You might just have a quick listen to it. Alright, and you can record your own sounds with the right equipment, by the way, but we'll talk more about that in class. Uh, the, so what I'll do is, I'll go back to Premiere Pro, what I might do is, I'm just going to um, go to File, I'm going to import this sound effect. Um, where is it? It seems to be gone, no, here it is, Computer Typing, import that. Okay, so that's in, I'm going to double click it, and I can preview it in the Preview Monitor. a bit of, you'll notice there's a bit of um, audio at the start, which I probably don't want. A bit of mouse clicking, I probably don't want that either, because it's not actually mouse clicking. Okay, maybe from about there to about there, alright, just before he clicks. So I might set an in point about here, I'll go back a little bit, because I don't want the whole of the clip, so I'll drag it back slightly, press press this button here, or you can press the I button on the keyboard, set an in point, and then just I think about here it clicks again with the mouse, I don't want that clicking sound, yeah, just there, so, just here I'll set an out point, and now it's, you have to put the play, I might put the playhead where I want it, where I want the sound clip to insert, and I might choose, um, I think I can choose a layer where it will go, and if I press this button here, drag audio only, I can drag, actually no, I can just drag it wherever I want it to go, so I might line it up underneath there. There we go, alright, so let's now see how that sounds with the um, typing sound effect. Alright, it's looking a bit bad because the typing doesn't really match up, and it's also a bit loud too, I might make it a bit, um, the volume a bit lower, so if you click on your clip, and if you go into your effect controls, which is probably hiding behind here, um, and then over here in channel volume, what you could do is you can open that up, and, oh no, I think we want level, that's what we want, so what I can do is I can select the level, so that one there, and I can drop the sound down or up to make it um, to make it louder or softer. So I might just do it for the whole clip. So let's just have another listen to it. And I might drop that down by six decibels. The dB stands for decibels, is which is what we measure sound in. So let's listen to that now. It's still pretty loud. I might drop it down by even more down to down by 12 decibels. Let's see. Aha, much softer. I think that's better. I might even go down a bit further that to 22. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Much nicer. Okay, that's cool. Um, so that's pretty much how you can add a sound effect into your uh, Premiere Pro, Pro, Premier Pro clips, uh, video clip, sorry. Um, the other thing I might do is I might just quickly show you how we can add a bit of audio because we've got a bit of time. Um, I've just got this sound that I've got here. I might just double click this and preview it. It's going to be quite loud. I'll turn the volume down. Um, it's just some drumming that I got. I've okay, I've used it for another clip over here, which I'll do a video on later, um, with, which is of a rapid strobe type edit. But I'll just show you how you can insert the audio. So. Obviously, when the audio gets to here, there's no sound, so I don't want that excess, so I'm going to set an out point just here, so I'm just going to drag this section in, so if you hot click on this button, hold and drag, then you can drop that in on another audio layer, and let's listen to that now, we've got the type in, we've got the video clip of the person typing, the typewriter sound, and the music as well, so we've got two audio layers, let's see how that sounds. 
Okay, it's way too loud and I can't hear the type right in. So I'm just going to drop, like we did before, drop the levels of that. So if I go to effect, back to effect controls and click off and click on so that I get the levels again. Let's, let's um, drop this right down, not all the way down, but maybe down to, so it's really soft in the background. Again, this isn't the right music for it, but you can you get the idea. So we can now hear the type in, and we can hear some background music as well. Okay. Um, so the other thing is, as with speed, we can also ramp the volume of the audio layer in case we want one section to sound um, louder than another. So to do that, let's just go, and we can set a keyframe. Let's put our playhead to where we want it to get a bit louder, maybe about here. We can set a keyframe there, and then if I move the playhead here, set another keyframe, and then bring the level up back to normal speed, uh, normal volume. You'll see that as I scrub the playhead along, watch the decibel levels, they're really low, minus 28, and then it'll slowly ramp back up and be at its normal volume by the end of the film clip, uh, video, uh, sound clip, sorry. So let's just play it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you could also ramp the volume back down if you wanted to. So by, if I put another keyframe here, for example, and then I drag the volume, oh, it's gonna, yeah, it could ramp it slowly back down, okay? Or I could set another two keyframes so that it plays at that level Another keyframe there, and ramp the last part down. All right, so normal volume, and then it'll get softer as well. Okay.